Hello and welcome to a new episode of 7 Facts. Here we talk about the hidden and unknown facts of every territory, state or country of the world. There are also some history videos too, so if you're interested in such things, please subscribe. Rhineland Palatinate or Rhineland Pfalz is a state of Germany located in the west, covering an area smaller than that of Slovenia but with a twice as big population, about 4 million. In its current form, the state only existed since the end of World War II, but it managed to develop its own identity, built on its natural and cultural heritage, its reputation as a wine-growing region, its picturesque landscapes and its many, many castles and palaces. Rhineland Palatinate is reputed for its rugged landscapes, as well as its wines from the valleys of the Moselle and Rhine. Indeed, this state produces two-thirds of all German wines, and as such is the only state to have a wine minister. As usual, the history of these lands stretches way back. Settled by Celtic and Germanic tribes in ancient times, the region was conquered by the Romans and remained part of the empire for four centuries. By the end of the 5th century, the Rhineland Palatinate was annexed to the Frankish kingdom by Clovis, the first king to unite all the Frankish tribes and the founder of the Merovingian dynasty. Up until the modern era, Rhineland Pfalz's history went hand in hand with that of the Holy Roman Empire. But the state we see today only emerged after the end of World War II, when the French occupation authorities created it, being the last state in West Germany to be established. It was created by joining parts of Prussia, Hesse, Nassau and Bavaria, thus having a diverse historic heritage. Mainz is the capital and largest city of Rhineland Palatinate. It was named as capital upon the creation of the state, although the central authorities couldn't actually work from here in the first years, because 80% of the city was destroyed in the war. Mainz was founded by the Romans in the 1st century BC, serving as a military fortress on the northernmost frontier of the Roman Empire and as the provincial capital of Germania Superior. Its name however reflects its older roots. The Romans called it Moguntiacum, which was simplified to Menus and Main. In turn, the Latin designation comes from the Gallic god, Mogons, meaning the Great One or the God of Might. During the Middle Ages, Mainz was a center for the Christianization of German and Slavic peoples, and the archbishops of Mainz were regarded as the substitutes of the Pope north of the Alps. Possibly the greatest disaster in the city's history was World War II, because the air raids pretty much leveled the entire city, with only 20% of its buildings left standing, but even those in bad shape. One of the greatest contributions to humanity's progress came out of Mainz. The city was home of Johannes Gutenberg, the inventor of the movable type printing press, who in the early 1450s manufactured his first books here, including the Gutenberg Bible. His introduction of mechanical movable type printing to Europe started the printing revolution and is regarded as a milestone of the second millennium, ushering in the modern period of human history. It played a key role in the development of the Renaissance, Reformation, the Age of Enlightenment and the Scientific Revolution, and laid the material basis for the modern knowledge-based economy and the spread of learning to the masses. In short, it kick-started the modern civilization we're currently part of. Trier is a city in Germany on the banks of the Moselle. Founded by the Celts in the late 4th century BC as Treorum, it was later conquered by the Romans in the late 1st century BC. Thus, Trier is regarded to be the oldest city in Germany. But, according to an old legend, the city is actually much older. According to a legend recorded in the 12th century, the city was founded by a mythological prince of Assyria named Trebeta, placing the city's founding independent of and centuries before ancient Rome's. However, there is no historical evidence that the Assyrians or an Assyrian prince named Trebeta crossed into Europe. But records of the time were spotty to say the least, so this legend might have some truth to it. One of the most famous historical figures that came out of Trier was none other than Karl Marx. 
He was a German philosopher, economist, historian, sociologist, political theorist, journalist, and socialist revolutionary. But you probably know him for his best known titles The Communist Manifesto and Das Kapital. His political and philosophical thought had enormous influence in the coming decades and laid the groundworks for the spread of the idea of a communist society. Due to his political publications, Marx became stateless and lived in exile with his wife and children in London for decades, where he continued to develop his thought in collaboration with German thinker Friedrich Engels. His theories about society, economics and politics came to be known as Marxism and have shaped the world in ways he probably never imagined. The town of Neustadt an der Hart might be insignificant for you. You probably never heard of it, but it too gave the world one of its greatest scientists of the modern age, Hans Geiger. He was a German physicist and if his name sounds familiar, it should. He was the co-inventor of the Geiger counter. But his work was much more important than that. He worked with Ernest Rutherford, the father of nuclear physics, and conducted the geiger marsden experiment, through which the atom nucleus was discovered and the so-called planetary atomic model with which we are still used today was formed. The geiger muller tube was a device he and his student created to count alpha, beta and gamma particles and is the basis for the popular Geiger counter. Hans also had a brother, Rudolf, who was a meteorologist. He, together with Vladimir Koppen, worked on a climate classification system and created the Koppen-Geiger climate classification system that is still used to this day. These were 7 facts about Rhineland Palatinate. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave your comment downstairs and do check me out on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to support me, consider becoming a patron. You'll find the link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.